Okay, in this video we're going to solve a, uh, a mixture problem using a linear system. Uh, frankly, most of my students don't really like this kind of problem very much, um, but it's a really useful type of problem to be able to solve. Let's, let's look at what we have here. It says, I need to mix some 12% alcohol solution with some 20% alcohol solution to get 160 mils, that's milliliters, of 14% alcohol solution. How much of each should I use? So what I'm doing is I'm going to be I'm going to take one container that has the uh, the 12 percent solution, and I'm going to take another container that has the 20 percent solution, and I'm going to pour those together into this big container here that has 160 milliliters of 14 percent solution. Okay, that's the setup. So, the question is, how much of this do I use, and how much of this do I use? Uh, well, those are going to be our two unknowns, and so we'll call this one X. I'm going to say I'm going to use X milliliters of this one, and I'm going to use Y milliliters of this one. Okay, now what? Well, we can tell that if I take X milliliters and I pour it in with Y milliliters, I get 160 milliliters. So that's a good place to start. X plus Y equals 160. Now let's look at the amount of alcohol that is in there. Okay, This is a 12% solution. What that means is 12% of this liquid is alcohol, and the other 88% is something neutral like water. Okay, 12% of how much? 12% of the X milliliters. So that means I have 12% of X, which we write as 0.12X milliliters of alcohol in this one. And I'm adding that to 20% of Y milliliters. So plus 0.20 or 0.2Y. And that's going to equal the amount of alcohol that I have in this one here, which is 14% of 160. So that's 0.14 of 160. And uh, we can rewrite this to be uh, 0.12x plus 0.2y equals, I believe that's 22.4. And what I do sometimes, just to make life a little simpler, is I will multiply both sides of this equation by 100. And let me tell you why I do that. 0.12 times 100 is going to give me 12 times x. 0.2 times 100 is going to give me 20 times y. And 22.4 times 100 is going to give me 2,240. So basically what I've done is I've kept the same relationship here. I've kept the same equation, but now I don't have those, uh, those decimals that are going to mess me up. Okay? So we are now looking at this equation and this equation. Those are the two equations that we have that we need to combine. And uh, the best method to use here would be elimination. Okay? Uh, let's take our top equation and let's multiply it by negative 12. Okay? So that's going to get us negative 12x minus 12y equals negative 12 times 160. Uh, and upon further uh, calculation, that turns out to be negative 1,960. Is that right? Nope. 1,920. There we go. Okay. Add this equation to this equation. 12x minus 12x is 0. 20y minus 12y is 8y. And 2,240 minus, minus uh, 1,920 is 2,320. So I get 8 times y equals 320. So y equals 320 divided by 8, which is 40. So what does that mean? It means I'm using 40 milliliters of the 20% solution, which means I must have 120 milliliters of this 12% solution, since they both equal up to 160. And if I check my work here, 12% of 120 is 
14.4 and 20% of 40 is 8. So that's the amount of alcohol in 14.4 uh, milliliters is the amount of alcohol in this one. 8 milliliters is the amount of alcohol in this one. And if I add those together, I get 22.4, which is what I calculated to be the amount of alcohol that would be in this one. So that turns out to be right. 120 milliliters of the 12% solution, 40 milliliters of the 20% solution.